Okay, so this question is a diagram question. Um, I think just visually, as soon as I see some visual provided, right, a table, a graph, a shape, I think of it as a diagram question, which just means my eyes go directly here first just to make sure I understand what the visual is, in this case, what the table is presenting to me. And then I read the words second. So I can see here that the table is very simple. It's only two columns, looks like five rows. We have nests A through E and the number of eggs in each nest. So nothing very complex there at all. So I'm gonna start reading. It says five. Um, I'm gonna just not even care about this word. I'll call it EI, right? So five EI, a type of sea turtle, each have a nest. Okay, so five sea turtles have a nest. The table shows an original data set of the number of eggs that each turtle laid in, the, in its nest. Yeah, we already saw that, right? So we see those numbers, we see the nests labeled as A through E. The question goes on to say, a sixth nest with 121 eggs is added to create a new data set. Okay, so that means we would have nest F and we'd have 121 over here. For our new data set right so now we'd have a through f instead of just a through e the question goes on to say which of the following correctly compares the means of the two data sets okay so if we just use a little bit of logic we could say well the mean here is most likely in the low 140 range right so kind of halfway between 136 and 149 and by adding a value that's much lower than that, we expect our means to go down, um, and that could influ influence our answer. Right? That's what I would probably think if I was short for time and just move on. Um, but there is a way to prove this, right? So I can just find the mean. I can find the mean of A through E really quickly. Actually, it doesn't take all that much time. Go to my calculator. I add up those values for A through E, the number of eggs for A through E. So 149 plus 144 plus 148 plus 136 plus 139 equals 716. So that's the first step of finding the mean. Add up all the data points. And then we divide by the number of data points we have. Right. So 716 divided by 5 gives me 143.2. And then we find the mean for A through F. Okay, so again, if I add up all those that I already have circled again, that would still give me 716. But of course, I now need to also add this additional 121. And the number of data points we have now is no longer five, it's actually six. So that's the math that we're gonna do. So my calculator now, 716 plus 121, is 837. 837 divided by 6 is 139.5. So we can see that our mean decreased from our original state here. So choice A says the mean of the original data, 143.2, is greater than the mean of the new data set, 139.5. Yeah, that's absolutely true, right? And I mean, there's no way to disprove that. So A must be the, re the best answer. Choice B, the mean of the original data set is less, definitely not. Choice C, they're both equal, definitely not. Choice D, there's not enough information, definitely not, right? So I now even feel even better about choice A. So choice A is the correct answer here.